What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We are back at Town Hall 10 and we have the best, the strongest and most efficient attack strategy for you, the Hog Riders. We are coupling this with the Wall Wrecker because it is the most effective way to do it, taking out a variety of bases coming in with that kill squad. Now if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of my attack strategy videos but as you can see you tend to want to have these similar objectives irrespective of the base you'd be pressing in with the wall wrecker and if possible try and take out the enemy queen and the enemy cc alongside carving a section of the base so that you can control your hog riders and their pathing the defenses that you get with that yes take that into consideration but it's more the pathing you have enough firepower with the hog riders to circle around the base irrespective of what which defenses they are you can see inferno towers wizard towers all the dangerous defenses for hog riders are in there but we're still able to take them out very comfortably here that's because the kill squad has done such an effective job you really don't need many spells the wall wrecker gets you access through the base and you really just use your heroes kind of suicide method in order to take down what you need to coming towards the back end here you can see a nice use of the poison spell to get rid of them skeleton from the skeleton traps and the heal spell really just for good measure at the end we do have cleanup troops look at how many hog riders are left over in this attack that is the efficiency of it very very powerful and it's all because you're using minimal amount of troops in that kill squad but very effective and able to save your mass army of hog riders and heal spells for the back end we have a bunch of different replays of it today so that you can get on top of it and know exactly what you need now you do need a wall wrecker in order for it to work exactly how I'm showing you it. I know for most of my viewers that isn't an issue. However, if it is, you'll just have to come in with a regular kill squad. It's going to be harder. Absolutely, if you don't have that wall wrecker, you're going to have to commit troops to your kill squad in order to tank, potentially take in a jump spell as well. So it's most certainly going to be more difficult, but definitely can still be done. In this example, you can see setting up the funnel straight away. You don't want to put the wall wrecker in, allow it to plow through the walls and then have your heroes walk. So using a couple of bowlers or witch uh, wizards, whatever you need in order to set that funnel first, you can see these Teslas that pop almost cause the queen to walk away, but then she does indeed see sense and come back across to where we need her takes down the cc the enemy queen is already gone and from here it's really just taking out these couple of defenses that then helps with the pathing of the hogs you'll see the queen taking out the expo the cannon now she's going to step up and take up the wizard tower and in comes the hog riders you can see how they will track down to the expos onto the cannon there had the wizard tower still been there chances are they would have split up some of them would have came across to the wizard tower and that is where efficiency wise you would have to then start splitting spells and it really doesn't work as well that's where coming in from the western side of the base there with the hog riders meant that we didn't have to track back to that area or hog riders didn't have to split over there because then you'd be using two sets of spells and the hog riders don't protect each other as much either so think about that guys using a separate set of hog riders if indeed they are going to take out defenses in a wider area it's not just that circle around the base you will have to think of how you're going to split it up the golem at the top works epically here to take down that final tesla and allow the hog riders to just move on to the cleanup but again that's something that hopefully throughout this video you will be able to pick up on is the pathing of the hog riders because the kill squad is relatively the same throughout guys using that wall wrecker once you've set the funnel in order to get your heroes in take down the enemy queen take down the enemy cc and carve the path as needed but like we said it really is the hog riders that will get the job done moving down to the next one we have a bunch of them for you today you will see that bowlers are used alongside the kill squad 
that's kind of a natural, isn't it? That's what we do. Alongside them heroes, the bowlers can provide so much damage. And as you can see in this example, a rage spell is going to be used definitely something you want to consider now you also want to think about you can see in this example we're taking a golem alongside that kill squad how deep do you need to get what are you trying to get you can see in this example the queen is right over there further towards the opposite side of the base now the wall wrecker needs to give us access across there we don't have to necessarily get into that compartment we can reach the queen from without it but you need to get deep enough to be able to reach her remember you don't have to get onto the queen just within her radius and the wall wrecker had protection from the golem it's going to get right the way across and out pops some valkyries in order to start taking down some of these defenses and ultimately help to get that enemy queen down or tank for it anyway and then in come the hog riders whilst the valkyries and queen are there that does a number of things it helps to tank for the hog riders in themselves but also they then start to take down the defenses look at the queen you have not got a better cleanup troop than the queen herself she obviously does so much damage she's got that range as well it's gonna be helpful if you can protect her moving to the back end of the base the hog riders have a decent amount of defenses to get through here but again because we haven't had to commit as much in terms of troops and spells to the kill squad we have enough heal spells to help right the way through the back end here very patient on this final spell that is another thing guys the patience of spells will definitely be needed make sure you've pre-planned what are you going to get out of the kill squad what are you going to have left up and where do you think the hog riders will end up going you're bound to know if they're going to hit any areas where there's giant bombs if there has been replays before it maybe there's wizard towers or in fact inferno towers for that matter you need to know where your hog riders are going and where you think you're going to need the heal spells yes you need to adapt i'm not saying that guys but you need to pre-plan a little bit maybe pre-heal some spots if need be so that you know that when that giant bomb goes off your hog riders will be safe now massive shout out to ted he got a six pack in this war and was there throughout my live stream of this war versus grumpy old men so massive shout out ted i do appreciate the support and i really like how he puts this one together again it's not just a set strategy is it it's you know we're giving you the core skills here in order to take down a base but you have to adapt, adapt it accordingly you can see how the giant and wizards for example to take out that tesla the baby dragon and in this example is better for the funneling than in the previous example where we had the bowlers and we could bounce into different buildings things like that guys you need to think of the base and adapt as necessary in comes that wall wrecker again we do not need to commit a lot of troops here we already have the tankage of the wall wrecker the queen goes down the enemy cc goes down that's already the two main things we need to get and from here it really is just taking out defenses to help the hog riders you can see the queen if she hurries up and takes out that wizard tower up in the north here or the north of your screen anyway the center of the base that helps with pathing of the hog riders in themselves they don't have to necessarily split although probably they wouldn't have of anyway they would have continued on the path they're taking but there is a chance some of them might have gone up there so you do need to take it into consideration and in come the heal spells as they come around take note of them skeletons guys if you can indeed depending on what's in the cc do without that skeleton uh, poison spell hold it for the skeletons at the end it can be very helpful but if you can consistently keep the hog riders in the heal spell it really shouldn't be an issue and when they take out the final defense they will turn around batter them skeletons take down the king do what they need to do and game over so there you go guys that is the hog wrecker attack strategy the wall wrecker as part of your kill squad is really the main thing for this and the hog riders to circle around the back end of the base i've tried to give you as many tips and tricks as we can for this and obviously i have tried to give you the core skills needed adapt the plan as necessary let's show you one more attack here before we wrap up the video we had a ton of three stars with this and we had more than what we're showing you in the video as well 
but we do indeed have DJ, the main man himself. You see him with them three stars each and every week on my stream. Did a very nice war record in itself. And I really wanted to show here how you can adapt the plan as much as needed. You can see how DJ now takes two golems. Unlike in previous attacks where we haven't even taken one, DJ wants to get right across into the base here. More or less just give the kill squad a greater job and the hog riders a lesser job. You have to weigh up that margin, guys. How much of the base do you want your kill squad to take out? And how much of the base do you want your hog riders to take out? That will give you an idea as to how much in terms of troop capacity you commit to one or the other. And the golems are great to help protect that wall wrecker to get through to where you need to ultimately, but then also protect your troops. And look at how much of the base has already gone out. Now DJ did decide to put some ballers in at the top of the base since the king was tanking just to try and help take down a little bit of that, but it doesn't really help out too much. Now the queen is getting in range of that single inferno and the enemy queen and basically we need them down. It's not a question. The enemy queen needs to go down. We don't have a plan for her. It's not like we have a rage and skeleton spells like you sometimes see in the lava loon. She needed to go down. So the hog riders came in from that area, take out that single inferno, start protecting the queen. As it happens, I think we would have got it anyway. But if you can protect the queen, she is great for cleanup. Then the hog riders getting right the way around here. Heal spells absolutely everywhere, able to help them through these final few defenses. The skeleton spells do indeed pop, but there's now nothing to take down the hog riders. They're able to batter through them skeletons, help with cleanup. But again, because we protected the queen, she actually helps out massively in this raid. And again, guys, if you can, pure efficiency, try and protect your queen she will help you with cleanup you do not want to get a 99 percent two star or even one star but that will wrap it up for this video i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out